Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer. Today we have in here a 2019 Ford Escape. We've been test fitting some roof racks right here. We have the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. Now this is going to mount to the raised side rails of your Escape. It's a really nice and simple setup. It's gonna allow you to get your favorite rooftop accessories loaded. You could have a bike rack, cargo box, or even a kayak carrier. Really just whatever you need mounted on your roof, this is gonna serve that great purpose. Now up top, we're gonna to have our 53 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars. These are gonna have a really nice sturdy construction to them. They have a nice aerodynamic shape. That's gonna help cut, help cut down on wind noise and drag, it's when, especially when you compare it to your standard square or round bar roof rack system. What is really cool about these bars compared to their old Aeroblade bars was that, is that we can flip open our cap right there and access our T-slot and rather than having to pull the rubber strip out and then cut it to length, we just simply slide our T-slot accessory in between the two strips to the location we want it on our roof rack, and then we tighten it down. So that takes away a lot of the hassle from having to cut the strips and that you could possibly lose them, and it's just not gonna look as nice. Now right here, we're gonna have our Evo raised rail feet. These are what's connecting our wing bars to our raised side rails. These are really high quality, they have Nice end cap on them. You can see the bolt we have that we use to tighten down the clamps. Once we put that end cap on, you can see we have this black plastic lock right here. That can be replaced with an actual Thule lock core set. That'll just provide more security for your roof rack that is available here at eTrailer. On the inside, we are gonna have nice rubber coating all the way around. So when it's clamped onto your side rail, it's gonna help it help prevent any type of scratches or abrasions from occurring. Now I do want to go over a few measurements for you guys. First, from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar, it's going to be two and a quarter inches. That's going to be plenty of space to be able to get your clamp-on accessories around the underside of your wing bar without risking damaging the top of your roof. Now if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our wing bar, it's going to be three and a quarter inches. That's something to keep in mind because you have added that height to your roof so for any low clearance situations, you shouldn't run in, in, into too many with the escape, but it's always something you wanna keep in mind. We're also gonna have a 220 pound weight capacity on this roof rack system, but we always suggest checking with your escape's owner's manual and make sure your roof can handle that weight. It's gonna be very easy to assemble. We got our front one installed right now. The rear one's going to go up there the exact same way. With these raised rail bars, all we gotta do is get our raised rail foot into our wing bar. And we're gonna come down here and remove our end cap first. Just push down on that tab and pull off the end cap. And then with our raised rail foot, you're gonna see the tab right here, it goes into the channel, just like that. Now we'll put our end cap back on and now we're ready to get it on our roof. We just get onto our raised side rail on the other side. Same thing with this side. We're not gonna do any tightening down. First, we're gonna measure our crossbar spread. Now what we're gonna do is measure from the front of our back wing bar to the front of our front wing bar. There's no set measurement. Just get a nice round number and you wanna make sure it's at least 24 inches. Uh, most of the time, I like to base it off of whatever accessory I might be using. If I need it farther forward, I can adjust it that way. Or if I need to bring it back a little bit, then I can do that as well. Make sure you get it even on both sides. Now we can start tightening it down. Personally, I think it's easiest just to use your finger first. Get all that slack out. Once you kind of feel more tension coming on to it, we'll switch over to our included tool right here, tighten it down the rest of the way. We already have the other side tightened down all the way. This tool's gonna let you know when your roof rack is fully secured and torqued to the correct specifications. You're gonna hear a couple of loud audible clicks. Just like that. Now you know it's done. So we can just grab our end cap, and put that on. Now we're ready to load up our favorite Thule accessories and then hit the road. Well, that's gonna do it for our look at the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2019 Ford Escape.